Hey you guys and thank you for watching my channel. I really hope you enjoy this shopping haul for me and the kids. Hey you guys and thank you for watching my channel. Now this video strictly is going to be on stuff that we got from um, Foot Locker, stuff we got from Bath and Body Works, um, a few Dollar Tree items and most definitely Walmart. Now most of the things you're going to see are gifts and some of the things that you're going to see I came out of my pocket and bought. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and start off with the drink of the day. Because this drink right here is everything, you guys. It is so good to me. I don't know if it's good to me because of my situation right now. But I'm really loving this drink, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and take some sips before I catch dry mouth by talking so much. I love the little strawberry pulp that's in here. It is so good. Now... The first thing I'm going to get into is the boys' shoes that we got from Foot Locker. Now, the first two pair of shoes I'm going to show, um, show you guys are shoes that my baby boy Elias, his father, had bought for him. Now, he won't be wearing these shoes no time soon because they are too big for his feet. These are in the size 7 and the size 8. I'm going to show you the size um, 7 first. Elias is in a 5 and a half. And there was these cute little all-white Jordans. I had to literally fight with Elias to get these out of his hands, okay? He did not want to put these Jordans down. But I'm like, Papa, you cannot fit them. And I want to keep them looking good for when you can fit them. And I am going to buy him more Jordans, maybe in a size 9, since he do have it in a size 7. That was a 7. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the size 8 that his father bought him. Which is really, really nice. I love these. I think these are retros. I think these are really, really cute. I really like these. I was like, oh my God. He can't fit these neither. It's going to be a while before he can fit these. But we all know he'll always have some shoes. <laughs> okay. A pair of Jordans that I bought for Yashua, which is my second oldest. These was the ones he picked out. Now, I was looking at him like, um, <clears throat> actually, I was talking to the guy that works at Foot Locker. I was like, I'm going to see whether or not, because my kid's always talking about the LeBrons, the LeBrons. So I was looking at the guy like, I'm going to see whether or not if he noticed that the LeBrons are sitting right over there on the side. And you know what? I let him pick out his own shoe because he was so excited. He was in there like, oh, my God. Oh my god, I don't know which one to get. I don't know which one to get. But um, at the end of the day, he chose these. He chose these Jordans, which I thought was also cute. I like, oh, okay, those are cute. Um, the price in these are 120 bucks, but I did not purchase these for 120 bucks. I think I paid anywhere from 80 something or 90 something bucks for these shoes, which was nice. He liked these, okay. But when we got in the car, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, yeah, go ahead and call me green because I could have went on ahead and say when we was in the store, hey, they go to LeBron's over there. But if his pick was going to cost me less, honey, let him pick what he wanted to pick. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. Um, a pair that my oldest boy got, Antonio, was these Nikes, which I thought was everything, you guys. He fell in love with these fucking shoes. He was like, yes, mom, yes. These right here, his aunt actually bought him these shoes, okay? So, he was very excited about these shoes. I'm going to show you the other one. I'm going to show you the, them together. He was so in love with these shoes. He was like, yes. He was ready to wear these the next day. And I was like, no, shit, school coming up soon. You know how he is. <laughs> I'm like, where then will you get, you know what I'm saying, to school? When school start back, because they are a little big for his feet. That's what I do. I buy my kids shoes a half size big, so they'll be able to fit. Now I'm going to get right into what I've gotten from Bath and Body Works. And these things that I've got from Bath and Body Works are gifts. Now the first one I'm going to start off with is this warm vanilla sugar. Um, this is the shower gel. The young lady that bought me this, she also bought me the body lotion. And she also bought me the body mist. I sprayed this on me earlier and I'm not mad. When I heard one vanilla, I was like, ah. 
let me smell this to see how much this costs because both of these bottles was $12.50 a piece. The price is on the bottom. And this um, body mist was $14. Bucks. I'm not sure if you can see it or whatever. And when I spray, because you know, um, I think sometimes body sprays goes off of your body scent. So what may smell good on somebody else may not smell good on you. But when I sprayed it on my arm, I actually liked it. I was like, damn, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Shit, bring it. Another one that I got was from my boo, Sarita. <laughs> that's my best friend's sister. My best friend probably be jealous if she see me saying that her sister is my boo, but we're going to let that slide. She bought me this Sea Island cotton. That's why she my boo, okay? Because this smell, this Sea Island cotton, she got me the lotion, the body gel, and the mist. When she first brought this to me, and I sprayed this on me, I was like, oh my God. You know that when your eye go to twitching, like, oh my God. This smell right here is everything. I was like, only my boo would know how I like to smell like I was like she really did that so when I go to Bath and Body Works most definitely I will make it my business to put and pick up at least two more sets of these now um these bottles because I think Bath and Body Works had like a sale going on because she also bought my best friend a whole bunch of stuff too I told her I only want to try this one because I watch a youtuber she's under Miss Muffins and um her name is Miss April, and she always do Dollar Tree hauls with Momsy. I just love everything Miss April does. I think she's amazing. But I seen her talking about this, and the way she smelled herself, and that I went to going like that. I was like, yes, that's stuff that I like. Like I said earlier, like some stuff that may smell good on other people may not smell good on me, but this stuff give you life. Okay, it is everything this is a must have try you gotta have this okay she also says some things about a lot of stuff because miss april like a lot of um lemon and lime smells and like i said i haven't had the opportunity to walk and bath and body works yet because i'm i'm finna get ready to show y'all the things that um when i go buy stuff what i like to smell on my skin is certain things that i just cannot live without now I'm going to go ahead and get into the things that I've gotten from Walmart. Now, the first thing is this dove. Let me tell y'all something. One day, I was in the shower. My son and father came in there, honey. And I was, oh my God, this stuff made my skin feel so good. Like, I was just going on and on and on about this goddamn lotion. And he pulled that curtain back and he was like, why the hell you sound like you in a commercial? Okay? <laughs> this stuff right here is everything to me. Dove is everything to me. I also have this in the body lotion. I also got bars of soap of this. I love Dove. I just feel like as a woman, as a young lady coming up, just period. This scent right here, baby, and it don't even have to be this one. I just I just love the way the cucumber one makes my skin feel because all Dove products smell good. This one in the original scent is my shit. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah, it is everything to me. I'm telling y'all, if y'all ain't on Dove, it's just something about the way it makes your skin feel at the end of the day, honey. Dove is the shit, okay? This is what I tell everybody. If you're going to buy me something and you think about getting me a gift or something like that, Dove. If not Dove, I'm going to get ready to show you the next product that I absolutely just cannot live without. Jergens, okay? The original scent. Anytime you see me go to the store, I know people like to get me to try new things. And it's not like, oh, I be being funny on the things that I use. But it's like when you grow up using certain products and you know that you can never go wrong with these products you tend to stick to what you know that's going to work best for you and these two things are my 
When I get ready to do my hospital bag, I had to think, damn, I don't want to take this big old humongous thing with me. Both of these big old humongous thing with me. So I do have a, a bar of soap in this, a small one, you know, to go on for the hospital bag. I'm, I'm going to get into my hospital bag. And when I went to Dollar Tree, I did find the original set. Now, they have, Jergens have more than just this scent, just like Dove have more than just that scent. But I am telling you, ladies, this right here, the scent is like cherry almond. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't saying that I don't love the, the other scents, but I've been using the original scent all my damn life, and it is everything. I just feel like I can never go wrong with this. So when I was in Dollar Tree, honey, I went on ahead and picked up the two small ones. I say this is most definitely going in my hospital bag. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all, if my product ain't in my bag, we gonna fight. Okay? It is going to the hospital. Now, I know y'all gonna laugh at me, but when I saw this cute little Batman onesie for my little angel that should be coming soon, I just absolutely love this. Let me tell y'all why. Let me tell y'all why. And this is in newborn. And at Walmart, it said it was for four bucks, but it was actually on sale for two. When I saw this, I just thought this was the cutest little thing because I also have a pink pajama dress. I would go run and get it, but I don't want a child to be like, oh, you're such a big old kid. Yes, I am. Ah, uh -huh, don't be mad. <laughs> and my pink dress also has this same logo on it so i said me and my little buttercup is going to be up there with our little pink socks on just do -do -do, minding our own business and our little batman get up so if you don't like it ha, see us about it <laughs> yes baby um another thing that i've gotten out of walmart and i just wanted to try something because when i had my son i had Got the little Tommy bottles, you know, the ones that just like the nipple that everybody was raving about. And I purchased those things. Those things were expensive. And I wish I could have kept up with them better than I did because he's only one. And now, look, I need bottles again. But um, this one right here, Parents' Choice, the new one, wide neck bottle. Um, it helped reduce colic, gas, and spit ups. It's a, um, it's soft silicone nipple. So, let me see. Oh, and it's a slow flow. So, zero plus. So, I had got her the small one. These are only five bucks. If you ever purchase bottles before in your life, you know, bottles can be very expensive. Okay? Because, honey. And I also got the big ones. So, these are the ones I'm going to go ahead and try out with her. And, yes, I do plan on breastfeeding now another thing that I have gotten was another thing by um parent choice was this bottle and nipple brush it was only a dollar you guys at Walmart which was awesome and what I like about it is that all you have to do is pull this out and the nipple brush is right here which is awesome I like that now another thing that I got that's going in the hospital bag is these soothies because um, you before my hospital used to give these and then they stopped when I had Elias um, they, they they told me they didn't give these no more they try to stop the kids from sucking pacifiers and I, I get it but not every time a baby cry they want food you know what I'm saying because they will push the breast and that baby mouth quick not, not every time they want it. And then it was so hard for me to find the light pink one and the light purple. I'm not sure if you can see this is the light pink one. And this is the light purple. I will call it ice pink and ice purple. It was so hard for me to find these. Um, because they only had them in either blue or green. And I said maybe somebody, you know how people be slick. They put the ones they want in the back so they get the money and come back and get it. Yeah, so I found this one pushed off to the back. So I was like, thank you, because I really wanted to get that out of the way. These soothies was like $3 and some change, which is awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the gifts that she got, baby girl got. And baby girl has gotten a lot of things. Like she stay 
getting things, okay? I already need to go ahead and buy her her dresser and everything because I got a lot of stuff that I need to wash and put up. Now, best friend went in Walmart. She saw these cute little sandals. She won't be, be able to wear them no time soon, but when she do start walking, she will most definitely have some cute little sandals to um, have because remember, she bought her the other two as well. These are really cute in a size four. And I like the color pattern because most of the clothes I'm going to show you guys had these patterns in it, which I thought was awesome. And child, because it's hot, these may be baby girl favorite ones. Um, they was four ninety eight. Another pair of sandals that she got in was these cute. And you know I love glitter, but these. Remember the last ones I showed you? It had the really big, cute um, pink bow on it, and it had way more glitter in it. This one also has glitter, but not as much. And I like again. I like all the colors being in there. Um, cause that was really cute. I can't wait to see her with these on. Now let's get into clothes. Let me tell y'all something about this friend. If y'all, every time she goes to the store, the first thing she try to do is go straight to the baby section. You literally got to pull her out of the baby section because if you don't, best friend will spend her whole damn paycheck in the baby section. And the whole time you pulling her from the, ba the baby section, it's like literally almost like you grabbing her by her ankle saying, come on, come on. And it's sad. It's sad, but you can't tell best friend nothing when she get ready to shop, okay? That's just how she is. Now, the first thing that she got that I like and this is in the size three to six months and the reason why I like it is because I like the little ruffles and it's like a t-shirt do you see that that is so cute but it is a onesie you guys it is a onesie t-shirt and it's in three to six months because I know it look kind of big and she got her these cute little look at these little shorts you see these little shorts I think these are so freaking cute I thought those was cute, so I was like, yes, that is everything, honey. And you know, the 4th of July just passed, so those are some really, you know, 4th of July colors. But honey, you can wear these colors anytime, okay? See us about that. Another thing that she had gotten her, she was worried that she had already gotten this onesie, and she did. But guess what? You can never have too many onesies okay so the day that she actually wear that onesie that she got her last time i would most definitely bring this extra one right along because you know baby spit up they mess up so this would be nice this is from zero to three months and she also got her the cute little look i am so loving the little ruffles that go around on these shorts okay they zero to three months so i just thought that was so cute I was like, look at that. That is so cute. I thought that was cute. That's why we got to pull her out the baby section because best friend been and saw something and don't even realize she didn't bought it. <laughs> but she don't care. She do not care. Um, another thing that she had got her, again, I love these little t-shirt tops. I think they are everything. Like I said, I like the ruffles. Mommy little cutie. I thought this was everything and it is also a onesie. This is in three to six months. I just thought that was so cute. I just thought that was so cute and I like the fact you see the M, the color of the M and the Y. She went and got the shorts, which I think is so cute with the little ruffles, you guys. Yes, because like I told y'all, Florida, Miami, for a lot of the area, anywhere in between, it is hot. It's probably hot all the way up to West Palm Beach. But yes, you got to keep them little short sets going, honey. Another outfit she got her, which I also thought was cute, was an all-purple little t-shirt one with the ruffles, with the cute little bowl. And you see that? That is too cute, and this is in three to six months. I thought that was adorable, and she got her these three to six month um pants, which is so cute. Now you see why I say I like the fact that she got um the little sandals and all that with all the colors in it, and I just thought that was so 
freaking cute. I was like, yes, baby. Yes, I like them light purples. Hey, baby, your phone was ringing. It rung like two, three times. Right there. Another thing that baby girl got is this cute little um, floral. Because it got flowers all over it. Zero three months. Which I thought was cute. You know, it's on both sides like that. And then she also, let me tell you why I like these shorts now. Because none of these shorts ain't like the one that I'm about to show you. These shorts are so cute. Do you not see that pocket detail? Now, mind you, it ain't a pocket for real. What's she going to be sticking in her pocket at zero to three months? Nothing. But I just thought that was so cute. Little detailing. Yes, baby. Yes. I like that. I was like, yes, baby girl going, whoa. And she's going to be comfortable. She's going to be cool. She's going to be like, oof. She's going to get that air in all the right places. Yes, baby. That's Elias calling me. Then she got this cute little shirt from zero to three months. It say cutie. I love it. You see that? That is so cute. It looked actually bigger than zero to three months. But no, it is zero to three months, honey. Which I thought was cute. And she went... And got the cute little ruffle shorts to go with it. Oh my god, that is so adorable. I just love that. I really, really love that with all my heart. I love that. That white, I know a lot of people don't like white, but honey, because you know kids get white dirty fast, and they do, they do, but it's hot. White is a must need color in your wardrobe. Now, something else baby girl got in was these cute little pants which I thought was adorable and these in size three to six months they are so cute and then she got the cute little shirt to go with it too which is so cute all these cool colors nothing dark you know what I'm saying nothing that's gonna make her hot and if it do start to get cold hello buy a jacket <laughs> because the the way Florida weather wet work It'd be cold in the morning time. I wouldn't even say cold. It'd be cool. It'd be cool, you know, maybe may, may make your nipples stand up a little bit. But by the time 12 o'clock hit, it'd be hot as fuck. If y'all live in Florida, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Another outfit that baby girl got was this cute little top. This is in six to nine months. I thought that was really cute. And again, with the light colors. I love light colors. And again, these shorts with the pockets. Yes, talk to me. These are really, really cute. And mind you, you can't stick nothing in them neither. But these are really, really cute. I like that. Baby girl just have everything. She just have everything. Okay? The last thing that she got in was... Okay, this skirt is everything. Y'all gonna have to see me about this skirt. This is in zero to three months. This is so cute. And yes, you guys, it does come with the little panties. Yes, it does. I thought this was so freaking cute. That little ruffle skirt, and it goes with this purple little top with the bow detail, which I thought was so cute. Another thing that baby girl has gotten, and this is the last and final item, is these wipes. Yes, starting to get her wipes and stuff out of the way. Um, you know that um, sooner or later I'm going to be doing another baby girl buy video because I'm going to start showing you guys the big items. And... Um, what else I'm missing? I'm, I'm going to go purchase the stroller. I'm going to go get her bed. And, yeah, the, the car seat and stroller are obviously going to come together. And I'm going to go get her bed. And um, I guess the last thing I, pop, um, I got was a really big old box of Pampers for Elias. He has some, but um, you never want to run out. His dad bought him two boxes last month, and he is on his last and final um, box and he only got a pack and a half in there so I went and brought him a big box with a hundred 
and 24 in it for like 24 it was what $24 what $24.99 babe what it was so that's my son my oldest <laughs> but um anyways you guys that is all for this haul i love you guys thank you for watching my channel please like subscribe give me thumbs